This video is brought to you by Gladiator Concealment and S4 Tactical Gear. Links are in the description box below. What's up guys, it's Michael and Kyle with AKM Tactical. Appreciate y'all watching. I want to take a few minutes and talk to you guys about the Just In Case Tourniquet Pouch from Tough Products. Uh, this is actually a Sentinel Concepts Elite product. So they went in with Steve Fisher and uh, he, I guess he probably helped design it a little bit. You know, it was kind of his brainchild. But uh, this thing is probably the most versatile tourniquet pouch I've ever seen. Yeah. Um, it is just really, really cool in the design and the different things that you can do with it. And uh, we're just going to kind of go over it a little bit today. But um, first of all, uh, what does it hold? Um, it will hold anything from a Cat 7 to a Soft T wide to a Soft T, even a Rats. It'll even hold a Rats on in there if, if that's what you got. But um, the way it does that is it has this really cool... Um, I don't, it's not really leather. Neoprene. It's kind of a neoprene-ish type material on the front. And then it has the really stretchy fabric on the sides. So it will stretch out. It'll stretch this way and this way. So it will hold anything that you can get. That as long as it's big enough that it'll stuff in there where it'll hold it tight. It'll hold a tourniquet of any kind. Um, but the really cool thing about it, I say of any kind, it probably wouldn't hold a TK4, but they don't even classify that as a tourniquet anymore. The really cool thing about it is what it can strap, like the way that the straps work. It can strap down from anything from one inch in diameter to two and 2.5 inches in diameter, uh, which is really, really awesome. So, I mean, it really will strap to anything pretty right. much. So, it'll open up pretty, pretty good like that, or, you know, you can cinch it down. Strap yeah. it up like that. Uh, you can even, it even has this little part. So you can take this and get rid of it, and then that straps it down even, even further, even tighter. See? Mm. I mean, it'll, it'll go as tight as you need it to go. Um, one thing, another thing that I really like about it, and I'll try to do this in some close ups, is it has these, um, this stitching is where you can adjust it. Yeah. You can cut this part off. in little, little like half inch, looks about like half inch increments, and, um, and then probably just take your little lighter and burn the end of it right. or whatever um, to keep it from fraying and then uh, and so you can cut this strap down even further even further you can probably take about that much material off of the strap uh, to make that strap even smaller so I mean you can really adjust this thing down to where it'll fit anything it'll fit anything from rifle slings to um, like backpacks. backpacks range bags IV poles, you know, if you were needing something like that, any kind of pole that's long as it's not more than two and a half inches in diameter, it'll fit it. And uh, you can just throw these everywhere, all over the place, and have a tourniquet in them. Uh, what we have done with them, uh, I know I have, and I think Kyle has too. Uh, I put them on the old crap handle in my truck. Exactly. It's and a great um, place for it. it. When I first got it, I was like, this is that's just like the perfect place for it. And uh, so I keep it in there, keep it like this, keep the tourniquet in it with uh, a Cat 7 that has the wide part here. And I can just grab it like this and pull it straight out. And it stays right up here where, where I'm driving at. And uh, if I'm in the wreck or I drive up on the wreck or whatever, I've got a tourniquet right there. Um, I really think that I'm probably going to eventually put them on all four handles in the truck mm -hmm. and have tourniquets everywhere. This thing would probably even go out wide enough that you could put it on the seat belt. I mean, you could yeah. do a lot with it. You could put it anywhere. Um, it also has a really cool uh, system that they've designed. This is their own deal. I think it's their patent pending or something like that. But um, this design is where it has a their own molly strap. So I'm going to weave this thing out. I had it weaved in there so it's out of the way. But um, this opened up. We're going to get some close-ups of this. But this strap right here is designed to where you can weave it in and out using this inside system and you can put it on the molly pouch. Anything that has molly or pals or whatever, 
it'll weave in and out and so you can put this thing on a you know a chest rig a plate carrier another good place another you know like a battle belt or something like that i mean there's so many options with it uh that you can you can just put them anywhere it's not it's not like a complex design or anything it's just genius the way they did it though that, yeah. that uh it's so uh versatile and that you can put basically whatever tourniquet you want in here and you can virtually mount it anywhere yeah another great place guys uh, is a rifle sling yep i think that's money in the bank right there have one of these mounted on your rifle sling um that way you know it's it's there if you need it yep. um Absolutely. like you said chest rigs battle belts uh go bags a go bag is another good place to have it mounted um, you want your, you know, if whenever you're setting up your, your medical, wherever it is, you want your tourniquet to be quick, uh, yep. quickly accessible. Um, and it just doesn't get any faster than that. I mean, yep. you know, having it and deploying it and ready to go. Um, Absolutely. Uh, and it's just, I mean, it's a simple little, you know, thing they got going, but it's ingenious the way they designed it. So kudos to them guys. Um, we've got one each, but we probably need to buy about four or five of them. Yeah, and the price tag on these, as of right now, is uh, about twenty-five bucks. Yeah. So they're not super expensive. Uh, you can you can afford to buy a few of them, and uh, and just have them placed in in places that you need them. Yeah. But um, I I really really like it. Is it something that I would use for concealed carry? No. Um, it's a little to me just a little too bulky. Well the cat the cat seven the cat bulky. seven definitely. You may could could get this thing down small enough with a soft T wide that you could you could throw it on a belt and get away with it. But um I, I don't know. I haven't tried that. I may end up picking one up and trying it, because I did think about that when I first got it, to cut it down to a one point five where it would fit on my belt and then just put it on my belt. But I don't know if it would strap down small enough. You may could do something with it where you could get you it. You would to have work to like fold. That. Yeah, you would have to work at folding this cat, you know, far enough down. Well, you can get a soft T wide. Yeah, lot, yeah, like a, know, a lot wide, yeah. smaller. So That's you true. might could do something like that with it. But um, to me, where it really shines is just throwing these things in different places and having tourniquets yeah. at the ready all the time. Um, you know, as far as like putting them on a putting tourniquets on a plate carrier or chest rig. Uh, Dude, this is money right here. Yeah, it's easy and it's fast. And it's, it's fast and it's Thanks. easy and it's t it's tight. The tourniquet is very tightly held in place. I don't worry about. I wouldn't worry about running around and rolling around and this tourniquet coming yeah, out. It's, it's not, not going to come out uh, unless you pull just, it out. Yeah, unless you want it to be pulled out. So, uh, a few more of these are going to go in my truck. Uh, one's going to go on my rifle. Probably every rifle that I own from now on will have one of these with a Cat Seven in it. Um, it's just it's too easy and too well made not to do that. Yeah, do they sell it with the Cat 7 on their website? Uh, I don't think so. Uh, I don't see. I'm looking That'd on the nice website now. That'd be nice with it. Uh, that would be cool if you could buy a combo. Uh, there it is, just in case bundle. Yep. How much is that? 57, 57 bucks. Okay, there you go. So for $57, you can buy the just in case uh, TQ pouch, and it comes with a Cat 7 tourniquet. So. Oh. Hey, fifty-seven bucks. You're good to go. Uh, that's that's actually not a bad price, really. No, if you if you know if you're on a budget, you know, buy one of these, you know, for one month, and then maybe next month buy another one until you have enough that you feel yep. like okay, I've got a decent system in place. Yep, yep, absolutely. Mm -hmm. So, um, anyways, guys, the just in case tourniquet pouch from Tough Products. Uh, we are definitely big fans of it. Yeah, no doubt about it. Uh, I will be getting some more of these. So, you got anything else you want to say about it? No. Go, go get you one, guys. Uh, this is money well spent. Yep, absolutely. Guys, you know what to do. Like, share, subscribe. If you have any questions or comments, you can put them in the comment section below. You can always jump over to the Facebook page. We always get into a more in-depth conversation there. We will also provide links to Tough Products and uh, our sponsors and affiliates and AKM Tactical in the description box below. AKMTactical.com in the description website. box below. Anyways, guys, appreciate y'all watching. Y'all be safe.